Hello, my name is Mary Beth Stevens. I'm a senior here at BYU-Idaho, and this is my internship presentation. Enjoy. I chose to do my internship at the National Healthy Marriage Institute. A couple of my friends have also done their internships there, and that is where I originally heard about it. This internship is pre-approved through BYU-Idaho and has been used for a couple of years. The supervisor for this internship is Aaron Larson. Here are two emails in which you can reach Brother Larson at. Time was a concern for me. I hold a full-time job and was concerned that I would have enough time to complete the internship within the semester. The average hours I worked daily were two to four, at least five days a week. This averaged out to be 15 to 20 hours a week. Some weeks were less, depending on my work schedule, but I always made sure I did a minimum of the 10 hours. I was able to complete my internship in 11 weeks. So, what did I do exactly? My actual job title was research assistant. Now, Aaron always has a variety of projects for his internships to work on, so I will say they change from semester to semester. For my assignment, I worked on a strengthening marriage program that the Institute is currently developing. I edited for grammar errors, searched for videos and music to be used in the presentation. I also did some research for peer-reviewed articles to back up some of the information that was in the program. My greatest joy was, though, when I got the opportunity to teach these lessons to a variety of couples. Erin gave me some loose guidelines to work on this project. I worked on it through Google Docs so he could see any changes that I was making to the lessons. He's very easy to get a hold of through emails, and if you have any questions, he is quick to get back with you. The book behind the marriage program is called 10 Great Dates to Energize Your Marriage. It is written by David and Claudia Arp. The basics for the marriage program are based off of the dates in the book. Date one, for example, talks about choosing a high priority marriage. Date three talks about solving problems as a couple. Date five talks about finding unity in our diversity. And date nine talks about connecting faith, love, and marriage. As you saw, each date in the program was based on a chapter from the book. At the end of each lesson, there are a series of exercises and activities that couples complete before the next meeting. There is always a follow-up on each lesson the next week before you go on to the next lesson. I covered these concepts and exercises when I taught the lessons to a variety of couples. What happens after you think you're finished editing? You edit some more. P.S. Just when you think you are done with editing, you find several things you missed, or you just want to change something because what you worked on now doesn't seem to make any sense after you've looked at it for the 20 millionth time. I found that there is always room for improvement. It was time to teach. After I felt I was finished editing, Aaron asked me to do some beta testing with the marriage strengthening lessons. I was to teach my friends and family members. He wanted to get feedback on what the couples felt worked and what didn't work so he could make possible adjustments to the program so it will have a better effect. I chose a variety of couples to teach. They varied in ages from 27 to 68 years old. Some were married 10 years, some were married 45 years. Some had small children and others were empty nesters and had no children at all. Most of them were raised in the church, but some were converts at a young age while others were converts later in life. I felt it'd be interesting to get feedback from a variety of ages and marriage situations so we could get a variety of ideas on how to improve the marriage program.
So this is how I spent my time teaching. I taught these lessons for almost four weeks. I spent time practicing and practicing and preparing and preparing before teaching each lesson session. The lessons could take anywhere from one to two hours depending on the amount of time the couple had available. It also depended on how much the couple got into the actual lessons. I was at one house for two and a half hours because they really got into the lessons and we had some great discussions. But in reality, these lessons would be taught over a series of weeks. I was beta, beta testing the overall concepts from each lesson to get feedback from the couples. I covered as much detail as time allowed for each couple. And also it depended on the input and the conversations that I also had with them. After teaching, it was time to report my results. I prepared a simple Likert scale survey for the couples to fill out. There were also a couple of questions on the survey asking the couples what new things they learned, what they liked, or what they would change to make the program better. I compiled the information in an orderly manner and turned it into Aaron so he could evaluate their comments. How did you benefit the National Healthy Marriage Institute? I was flexible and willing to do whatever Aaron asked of me. I feel I was able to use not only the knowledge I have gained at BYU-Idaho, but I also used my life experience to give input and make changes to this program. Being married for 30 years was a plus when I was teaching the lessons. I was able to give real life examples to help teach the marriage enrichment program and its concepts. I gathered some useful research for the program and gathered feedback regarding the program to share with Aaron. How did I benefit personally from working for the National Healthy Marriage Institute? Well, there's several ways. I was able to delve deeper into the concepts I learned from many of my classes here at BYU-Idaho. Editing the lessons helped me take a closer look at my own 30-year marriage and see the changes I could make to improve my marriage. Some of the communication and confrontation tools were also helpful not only with my husband, but also with my teenage son and my coworkers. I can see how these tools will be helpful with others I interact with. The internship helped me gain a new perspective about marriage and the changes we are personally experiencing as we prepare to become empty nesters in a couple of months. Describe one important connection between my coursework here at BYU-Idaho and what I experienced during my internship. This was not an easy thing for me to come up with because I feel many of the classes I have taken here at BYU-Idaho have prepared me to do what was expected for this internship. But I must say of all the classes, the practicum class helped me prepare the most. It taught me many things. It taught me how to prepare for and teach lessons in my internship. I learned valuable research skills and lesson preparation techniques during that semester of my practicum. Having sound, useful information is important when preparing your lessons. You also have to prepare information that will be pertinent to your target audience. I found those valuable lessons were applicable when I did my lesson presentations in my internship. There are many reasons I found this internship rewarding and would recommend it to others. First of all, I needed a flexible internship that worked around my full-time job, my family, and my church duties. Doing this online internship allowed me the flexibility I needed. I could work on it before my family woke up, I could work on it a little bit during my breaks at work, and I could also work on my internship in the evening after my family had gone to bed. My particular assignment was on strengthening marriages, but don't worry, Aaron always has a variety of things for his interns to do. It was very rewarding to take a look at my own marriage from a different perspective. Studying the different concepts helped me see ways that we could improve our marriage 
and grow as a couple. It was also rewarding to help other couples discover ways they could strengthen and nurture their marriages too. It didn't matter whether they'd been married 10 years or 45 years, each couple found value in the lessons that I presented. One couple suggested that we teach this class in our ward. It made me feel good that the work I was doing for the National Healthy Marriage Institute could be so helpful to others. This is a great internship opportunity for working students. I would recommend it to anyone. Erin was an excellent supervisor and was very helpful in completing my internship. Just a reminder, my online internship was done through the National Healthy Marriage Institute. My supervisor was Aaron Larson, who was a great guy who helped me complete my internship, and I would recommend this to anyone who had a busy schedule. Thank you so much for listening.